the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Monday, December 6, 2021, and giving you top 3 betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Anaheim Ducks vs Washington Capitals The offense has led the way for the Ducks, but the defensive unit has stepped up as well, allowing only 2.88 goals per game. Hampus Lindholm and Cam Fowler have combined for 2.9 defensive point shares and 69 blocked shots, while Kevin Shattenkirk and Josh Manson have combined for 2.3 defensive point shares and 51 blocked shots to give the Ducks two great defensive pairings. In addition, goaltender John Gibson has been great as the starter, with a .915 save percentage and a 2.68 goals against average on 614 shots. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Capitals minus 1.5 against Columbus, the Capitals put together solid goaltending, along with enough offense to come up with a victory on home eye Saturday night. The opening period saw Washington with an 11-9 edge in shots on goal, and they skated off with a 1-0 advantage at the first intermission. Alexei Protas opened the scoring with his second of the year at 4.33 off an assist from Justin Schultz. The second period saw Washington with a commanding 13-2 shot advantage and tallied the lone goal of the period to take a 2-0 lead. Alex Ovechkin scored his 20th of the year and the 750th of his career off an assist from John Carlson at the 3-12 mark. In the third period, Washington held an 8-7 edge in shots with both teams scoring once, leaving the Capitals ahead as time expired. After Columbus scored to narrow the margin, Garnet Hathaway closed the scoring with an empty net goal, his seventh of the year, at 18.33 of the period. That marker was unassisted. Ilya Samsonov made 17 saves for the Capitals, who held a 32-18 edge in shots on goal, in the victory. He is projected to get the call in goal for this contest as well. Our second betting advice is to pick over 5.5. Colorado Avalanche vs Philadelphia Flyers. The offense has been one of the best in the NHL, but the defense has struggled, allowing 3.38 goals per game. Eric Johnson and Devin Tobes have combined for 2.5 defensive point shares and 48 blocked shots, but the rest of the defensive unit has struggled and is allowing opponents to find open shots near the net. In addition, goaltender Darcy Kuemper has struggled as the starter with a .903 save percentage and a 2.84 goals against average on 411 shots. The offense has let the Flyers down, but the defense hopes to step up as well, allowing 3.00 goals per game. Ivan Provorov, Travis Anheim, and Justin Braun have combined for 3.5 defensive point shares and 131 blocked shots, but the back end of the defensive unit has struggled and is allowing opponents to carry the puck into the offensive zone at will. Additionally, goaltender Carter Hart has struggled with a .919 save percentage and a 2.70 goals against average on 467 shots. Our first betting advice is to pick Colorado Avalanche. Against the Rangers Wednesday, the Flyers were shut down offensively and extended their skid to seven games in the process. The opening period saw Philadelphia outshot 15-11, and they trailed 2-0 on the scoreboard after 20 minutes of play. In the second period, the Flyers owned a hefty 16-5 shot edge, but only managed to stay even on the scoreboard in the period, keeping them down 3-1 after two periods of action. After giving up a goal to trail 3-0, Morgan Frost scored his first of the season at 9.37 off assists from Cam Atkinson and Claude Giroux to trim the lead to 3-1. In the third period, Philadelphia was outshot 8-7 and outscored 1-0 to seal the loss. Carter Hart made 24 saves for the Flyers, who held a 34-28 edge in shots on goal, in the loss. Martin Jones is expected to get the call between the pipes here. Our second betting advice is to pick over 6. Quick reminder, BetUS is a platform that offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. 
all of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. In addition, BetUS allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join BetUS now using our link down below and get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on the sportsbook after you open an account and deposit using our link and use our promo code HIZETAKES. Arizona Coyotes vs Dallas Stars The Coyotes are having a season to forget with the offense struggling immensely, scoring only 1.79 goals per game. Lawson Krause, Clayton Keller, and Travis Boyd have combined for 17 goals and 18 assists, but the rest of the forward unit has looked hapless this season. Only three skaters have five goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the top heavy forward unit as a result. Our first betting advice is to pick the Dallas Stars at minus 1.5, Dallas is 21st in goals per game at 2.81, and they are 16th in shooting percentage at 9.4%. The Stars are 4th on the power play at 26.3%, and are the top face-off team in the NHL at 55.5%. Even at 37, Joe Pavelski is still dominating on the ice, leading the Stars with 19 points. Rupins leads the team with 10 goals. Arizona is last in the NHL in goals per game at 1.79 and is 31st in shooting percentage at 7.0%. The Coyotes are last in shot differential at minus 8.1. The power play is also last at 12.1%. Not surprising, the Coyotes do not have a lot of big-time scores. Clayton Keller and Shane Gustisbehere are tied for the team lead in points with 16. Keller is tied with Boyd for the team lead in goals with 6. Our second betting advice is to pick under 5.5. Los Angeles Kings vs Vancouver Canucks. Los Angeles is struggling on offense. They have scored two goals or less in six out of the last 10 games. Los Angeles ranks 24th in goals per game, 4th in shots per game, 26th in shooting percent, and 18th in scoring efficiency ratio. Anz Kopitar leads the team with 24 points. The offense has been poor for Vancouver this season. They have scored two goals or less in eight out of the last 10 games. Vancouver ranks 27th in goals per game, 8th in shots per game, 30th in shooting percent, and 26th in scoring efficiency ratio. JT Miller leads the team with 23 points. Our first betting advice is to pick Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver is averaging 2.36 goals per game. They scored one goal on 23 shots in their last game. Vasily Pitkolzin scored the lone goal for the Canucks, while Oliver Ekman Larson and Brock Boser picked up an assist. Vancouver has struggled defensively, giving up 3.16 goals per game. They gave up four goals in their last game and will need a significantly better performance if they want to get the win. Los Angeles is averaging 2.55 goals per game. They scored two goals on 42 shots in their last game. Alexander Edler had a goal and an assist for the Kings. Alex Iafalo scored a goal, while Victor Arvidsson had two assists. Los Angeles has played well defensively, giving up 2.64 goals per game. They gave up three goals in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to win this game. Our second betting advice is to pick under 